All right, welcome. This is Clam, and today I just kind of wanted to highlight some events that happened the other day and hopefully shed some light on, you know, some of the things that go on on Skycade, some of the reasons players get so frustrated and upset with staff. Um, before we get started, I guess I want to just kind of give some context on where we're at. I'm doing a little parkour event on SMP, Skycade. And having a good time, um, there's rules, players are invited to come one at a time, attempt the difficult parkour um, to win a million in-game dollars, which for most players is kind of a lot of money, puts their name on the battle top list, it just makes things fun. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it, let's get started. Okay, so this is where A New Hope, um, they didn't TPO into the play area, but they definitely used a GM3 or some, I'm not sure, to be honest. I, I don't have proof, but the point is, is that A New Hope's a helper. Helpers don't have TPO to perms. They cannot go into GM3. Um, a New Hope really shouldn't have been able to get inside the play arena as no other players had access. I was TPing players in one at a time, um, giving every player a fair chance uh, at our little mini game here. Um, so the first thing is, is A New Hope abused their permissions to get inside of the P Warp. They had no regard for the rules. They had no regard for the little event we had going on. Um, now I'd like to point out that this isn't really a big deal. Um, helpers, staff, everyone's welcome to come hang out, have fun. You know, that's kind of the whole point of this was just to have some fun on the server with the community. Um, so they did break the rules, I believe. They did abuse their permissions um, to get inside. But again, I don't really know a new hope. And for all I knew, they were just coming to check it out and have some fun with the players no harm, no foul. Um, I wanted to pause it here and just point out that I did try to claim ban the helper. Um, obviously, don't have permission to claim ban a staff member from my claim, but I think it's important to show that I didn't want the staff member inside the parkour at this point. Um, I tried to claim ban them. Even though I can't, it's still proof that I was trying to remove them from the claim and I wasn't able to, which I think shows bypass on their point. The, they know that they're not supposed to be in there. Um, we're explaining to them, as you'll see in chat, that we're trying to do something and that they need to wait their turn. And as you'll see here in a second, they clearly do not care. So here we have the real disappointing part of the whole situation. As I said before, I wasn't sure what A New Hope was doing. I don't really know them. But here is where it was clear of who this player is and how they represent the Skycade staff team. So I was beginning to type in chat the P warp for them to enter. You name an item with your name, you throw it in the hopper, that way I can kind of keep track of who's gone and who hasn't. That way everybody gets a fair chance. So you see here, um, 
New, a New Hope is inside the arena, and they ask, where is the start? And the admin, no cookies for me, replies, you have to wait your turn. I'm starting to get a little frustrated. I say, bro. And they say, get back to P-Warp Jumpy. And A New Hope says, I don't care. I don't care. A New Hope doesn't care about what we're doing. They're simply there for their own personal fun, which which is fine. It just, it, in my opinion, it's inappropriate, and it's it's you know it's kind of rotten behavior for a staff member in full representation of Skycade to come and act in this pompous, um, god complex sort of way. So this right here was kind of the icing on the cake, if you will. Um, obviously, no cookies for me saying I'm demoting you isn't very serious. They're just trying to, while humoring the situation, they're also trying to tell the helper, like, hey, like, come on, man, we're, we're doing something here. You know what I mean? We're having fun, and you're being a jerk. Um, might I add that I believe admin is a higher rank than helper. So immediately, I believe the helper should kind of get a clue here. Now, A New Hope isn't all, all, only just a helper. They're also a builder for Skycade. I'm sure a very talented one. But because they're a builder, they also get extra permissions, which is why they were able to GM3 to get into the arena in the first place. So... A New Hope says, I'll just copy and paste it and do it myself. And then they throw a little dab thingy, which is fine. Copy and paste it and go play somewhere else. That would actually be beneficial for us. So you can stop interfering with our, with our fun and go do your own thing. But it also breaks the rules because... I don't believe most staff members are able to just copy-paste someone's build and go do whatever they want with it, especially not a helper. So because A New Hope is also a builder, they're showing a sign of entitlement here. They're almost bragging in public chat so that everyone knows that they can do this. Again, it's just unprofessional. Someone in representation of Skycade shouldn't be acting like this. I'd like to also point out that most of the players you see around the parkour and the players that are um, entering the event are all ranked players. These are people that donate money to the server to support it so that players like A New Hope can build for the server and get paid for it. It's an amazing thing that Skycade offers players. They have a unique build team with a lot of talent. And they wouldn't be able to have that if they didn't have dedicated players in the server that donated money and kept the server alive. So it really just throws me through a loop that this helper doesn't understand that what they're doing is destructive. It, it's sad. This person has no regard for anybody but themselves. They don't care about anybody else on the server and quite honestly they think they think that they're untouchable because they're a builder and they have these perms um, I think it's disrespectful and I think it's unprofessional representation for the rest of the Sky Kid team Again, I just wanted to show proof that um, clearly not wanting the player in the claim. Again, try to claim ban. Can't do it. Don't have permission to.
Now at this point, the helper, A New Hope, has left the parkour arena. Um, not really sure where they went. My assumption is they went outside of the area to set points and copy and paste it, which, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, there's nothing I could do about it at the time. So there was no point in me further um, pursuing the situation. I just continued to live stream. I gave the player, you know, a few extra minutes because I didn't think it was very fair for the interruption. You can see in chat that I apologize for the interruption. And with all the with all this going on, the player stayed positive, which is really nice to see. They said they made the jump, that they're really happy. You know, they're talking about the first very difficult jump of the parkour. They were just pumped that they made progression. And I think that's really nice. I think that's important. Um, uh, as you'll see, I still pay the player the 10k consolation prize and we move on to the next player and the rest of the event goes smoothly. So in conclusion, the whole the whole thing's really not that big of a deal. But I don't think that should offset the fact of the matter that you have a helper with extra build permissions um, with no regard for the rules, the server, their position, their representation, and most importantly, the players, the people that donate the money to support the server and make it so players like A New Hope can have a cool little side job where they can make some extra cash and build for a great server. We have abuse of permission with the GM3 to get inside. We have um, also to that, they're a helper. Normal helpers don't have those perms. So they're not only abusing helper, they're abusing their build permissions to get inside. Um, I don't really know if it's against the rules, but I don't think it's normal for a staff member to be able to just copy and paste a player's build to go use it for themselves. No other players are able to do that. Um, well, not in 1.13 anyway, because, you know, copying, pasting via mods aren't available, or they're slim. So this person is using their build perms to use their copy and paste, which should only be used for building for the server. So we have a bunch of abuse going on. We have a very inappropriate, pompous attitude publicly in the staff or excuse me, in the chat from a staff member that just really degrades the integrity of the Skycade staff team. It shows incompetence. It shows no respect for the players. And in my opinion, it just shows all round poor decision making. And it's just very unfortunate. Um, I wanna thank everybody for watching. I hope this shed some light on the situations that players report time to time on the forums. Um, I think this is good evidence of such situations, just to kind of give an idea of how mistreated players can be from staff that clearly have no interest in helping the server. They're only getting these titles for personal gain to stand out and to brag and chat that they're better than everyone else. I encourage you to capture these moments and make these videos because together we can start to filter out these bad staff members and make room for people that actually care about the server. Incidents like this don't help Skycade. They stir players away. Players don't want to come and donate good money to a server where they're treated with such disrespect. Again, I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching the video. Leave any comments in below of any concerns. I'm going to post this video everywhere I can. Forums, Discord, Twitter. 
I want to make it known. It's not fair. And it's not right for them to be able to do that. And down the road, if it continues, Skycade's going to see a loss in profit. And I don't see that being ideal for them. I think the whole point of the server is to generate income, have a good time, and produce a friendly, welcoming Minecraft server, and grow an awesome community. Thank you very much.